I'm here at four with breaking news in North St. Louis. Police officers responding to a shooting at McLaren and Goodfellow. Bomarito Automotive Group Sky Fox is live over that area where two men were found shot dead inside of a vehicle. We have live team coverage. We begin with News 11 photojournalist Stan Daywood. He is in Bomarito Automotive Group Sky Fox. And Stan, what can you tell us from your perspective? Well, Mike, we've been on the scene of roughly 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and I can confirm that there are two deceased individuals in that black truck uh, to the right and bottom of your screen. It appears to be a yard crew that was in the area. Uh, and I can't A confirm. yard crew that was in the area. Let me tell you something, man. In St. Louis, yard crew, them some gangsters, man. It'd be a yard crew full of gangsters, man. can confirm that there are two deceased individuals in that black truck uh, to the right and bottom of your screen. It appears to be a yard crew that was in the area. Uh, and I can confirm that there are two deceased here. Now, Riverview is shut down from McLaren a good four blocks south of that then or north of that, I'm sorry. And so you'll, you'll want to avoid this area, but there's numerous police on the scene, evidence technicians, and this is confirmed uh, that we do have two deceased people on the scene. Mike? All right, our Stan David over the scene in Bomarito Automotive Group Sky Fox. It looks as if the truck that Stan referenced may have crashed as part of what took place here. Our team coverage continues now with News 11's Mitch McCoy. He is live at that scene, picking up our team coverage on this breaking news. Mitch, you've been at the scene now for about 10 minutes. What have you been able to find out? Mike, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, everyone. We want to get right to this developing crime scene behind me. We are giving you that aerial perspective. This is what it looks like from the ground. Many homicide detectives now. Uh, looking inside that truck, also taking photographs. And Mike, I can confirm that it appears that after something happened inside this truck, there it did crash. It looks like there's a, a street light that is uh, on the ground along with a street sign. I'm seeing shattered glass as well on the other side of that Impala. And you can see that most of Riverview is shut down here is St. Louis homicide detectives and other police officers respond to this scene. I've had a chance to talk with a couple of witnesses who tell me that it sounded like there was an exchange of gunfire, a shootout of some kind. Now, we're told you heard on the street here is that the folks uh, that were driving this truck may have been innocent bystanders. St. Louis Metro Police. Oh, wow. Not confirm that just yet, but that's something that we are going to ask. We're going to continue to press on as soon as. Uh, a sergeant or a lieutenant here at the scene gives us an update but riverview is shut down here line of police that look like the projects there. main so traffic uh, is is being redirected to a said that glider sounds nerve you that glider shaky <laughs> yeah he needs to be he yeah. needs to jog his way out of there yeah imagine how you would be if there wasn't all these cops there yo this glider would shit on himself man, being around here. <laughs> yeah no. um let me show you why i said that what i said about um these these St. Louis people like these 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 um what do you call it yard lawn care or landscapers in 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 St. Louis the lawn care boys yeah exactly it is video that only tells part of a story right now a story John Deere that is boys. still being written tonight but no matter what the final chapter is this, this was last year this man's life is over from a fatal meeting and his family devastated. Oh, Thanks for joining this, us yeah. at 10 on air and wherever yeah. you're streaming. I'm Corey Stark. Samantha has the night off. That man's death appears to be over lawn care, a lawn care disagreement. And News 4 has video leading up to and after the clash. News 4's Ashley Lincoln is speaking to the victim's family about the shooting that happened in Glasgow Village in St. Louis County. Ashley is live following that investigation tonight. Ashley. That's right, Corey. The victim's family telling me tonight that this was a senseless act of violence. Again, as you mentioned, this was all over a yard debris dispute regarding grass that was cut from the neighbor's yard. Tonight, we're learning that police are reviewing surveillance camera from that home to figure out who's responsible for this shooting. Senseless. Four shots to the chest. Why?
That's the question the fiance of Alan Waller says keeps her up at night. We were good people. Why? Waller, God damn who's it, also a father, alarm, was gunned down. In he got it. He got it. He, he was. He went backwards, man. He had. He had a family with a glider queen, and then he went back and messed with a bullshitter, man. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Backwards, man. Back to Boone wow. Sheikah. That's the question the fiance of Alan Waller says keeps her up at night. We were good people. Why? Waller, who's also a father, was gunned down in his driveway Sunday morning. All we did was, was go shopping for the kids and come home. His fiance, who didn't want her face shown for her safety, says after errands and coming home, Waller wanted to talk to the neighbor's landscapers about ongoing issues from them leaving their debris in his driveway. So they would cut the grass at this house and leave the shit in his driveway. <laughs> Sound about sunny to me, man. I believe that. Who, him, one of you believe that. Just so we can have a a, a, a a place of you know a starting point. Hit one of you believe. It. Hit two if you think they're you know Zad or they lying on them, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I I I I tend to believe that that could be the case, man. Errands and coming home, Waller wanted to talk to the neighbor's landscapers about ongoing issues from them leaving their debris in his driveway. Home surveillance video shows the female neighbor walking two men to Waller's doorstep. Once they would have brought these niggas over, I'd be like, "It's all right, man. Don't worry about it." I throw yeah, away, yeah, y'all good. <laughs> it's all good, man. Y'all have a nice day, man. Cause um. Yeah, man. I remember this one. I remember this one right here. This one was crazy. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, oh, you know what? Y'all y'all got a bag? That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah, I was like, well, dude, can I get your car? Because I need my, I might need my car. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, just not man. worth it. It ain't worth it, man. You see, you could just tell the way some man walking over. He walking, he all, he all. Yeah, yeah man. Home surveillance video shows the female neighbor walking two men to Waller's doorstep. They acted aggressive. After the men confirm, Waller takes them to the side of the house to show them the debris. His fiance says that side of the home doesn't have cameras. Within seconds of being out of frame, things go wrong. Eight seconds go by before you see the neighbor sprinting across her lawn. And soon after, a third man appears from behind a truck with a gun. Waller Damn. They was ready, man. A Things job, go huh? wrong. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. Listen, man. So why was this white lady running, man? Is the neighbor? Why was she running? It's the fact that she was running make me think a tussle may have started or a gun may have been produced. But Waller takes them to the side of the house to show them the debris. His fiance says that side of the home doesn't have cameras. Damn, she instantly turned around. Yeah, that uh, that mud shark evolved and got her land legs. <laughs> yeah, like, like, she, I mean, why was she like, what happened in that few seconds? What could have happened in a few seconds? Firm Waller takes them to the side of the house to show them the debris. His fiance says that side of the house like, oh, doesn't shit. have cameras. <laughs> she walked away. What the fuck? Well, she's unseen a sun conflict or two. Yeah, she it, like it, it, it got sunny real <laughs> quick, man. And she was like, oh, oh no, I, I'm going over here. Within seconds of being out of frame, things go wrong. Eight seconds go by before you see the neighbor sprinting across her lawn. And soon after, a third man appears from behind a truck with a gun. Waller's fiance, who was inside the home with their children, describes the gunshots. I said, shh, whatever type of gun it was, that's the shots I heard. I went to go see my man. I see... He's on the ground. I immediately went in to grab my phone to call 911. I reached out to St. Louis County Police who say they can't comment on they where this is. Dude, they ain't stay on the scene like officers see what happened was. Them they, they ran <laughs> out the car spinning. That'd be the thing about son to be like, you can defend yourself. You know Hard what I'm saying? to offer any kind of defense after that. <laughs> you, you, you do have a right to self-defense. If he did something over there, you could say, all right, we've been So good. after you shot him, you uh, ran a mile and a half down the street with your pants sagging down your knees and your boxers showing, grabbing your ass. 
Yeah, man. It's just, it just, it's that, that we like, we like rats, man. We like little fucking like vermin and shit. These are running. County police who say they can't comment on where this investigation stands. Like you yeah. cutting them, you all they gotta do is interview this lady to find out who y'all. <laughs> you cutting their neighbor's grass, like. I don't know, man. It's just weird, man. And police who say they can't comment on where this investigation stands, but they do say detectives have an optimistic outlook on this case. So strong. It hurts. It hurts. My two-year-old daughter cries for her daddy screams for her daddy kissing her daddy pictures because she missed him. Mm -hmm. Sad. And I also went to that neighbor's home to figure out who these landscapers are. That neighbor was not home. We did leave our card with our contact information. She, however, has not reached out to us since we left that neighborhood. We did find, uh, however, nah, from I'm police sure that they are still active. No, nah, she, she know the deal, man. Them dudes, after seeing that, I mean, think about it. You see that? She ain't like, involved in her mouth yet. Yeah. <laughs> from police that they are still actively investigating and they're encouraging the public if you have information son of stan man it's a different place man um son of stan